hey, welcome to our feature presentation. Today we're going to talk about the Katowicz, which is a 1978 stereo variable band isolator by Chaos Devices. And we'll first have a quick overview over the sliders and the knobs and the inputs and outputs. And after that I'll take you to, through some patches uh, which I'll like to use. So, have fun! So, the Katowicz is a stereo variable band isolator and uh, it has one stereo input. I'm just using mono right now and a sum output and three separate outputs for the three bands. We have low, mid and high bands and um, these bands can be uh, regulated by these faders and also by these knobs and uh, the left knob regulates the center of the mid band and the right knob regulates the width of the mid band so i've preparated a small sequence let's hear this and now i will start by dropping out the bands this is the low band you hear that the lows are gone, now the mids are gone, and now it's silent. So let's hear each band. And let's just hear the mids band and play around with the knobs for the center frequency and the uh, band width. So for our first patch I have the same sequence running and it's just the mid frequencies with a rather um, narrow band and now I'm using a looping envelope by MAFS to modulate this band. So you can hear the band widening and narrowing again. Let's add some reverb to this for some interest. I already find this quite interesting. So on the second patch I have another sequence running, you can hear it um, I'll pull up the bands. Again it's going through a reverb and this time I will leave the bands down and just add a um, CV source to the, to the bands and I add a envelope, looping envelope or LFO if you want to. Uh, from the Zadar to the high frequency band. So you can hear it rising and falling. And also I'll add a looping envelope from MAFS, which is um, offset to the mids. So you can also get a quite interesting effect there. So this next one is a stereo patch and it's a drum beat and I've prepared the vocal sample to play a little something.
Um, as you can see, it's quite uh, crowded in here with the cables, and I've prepared a stereo pitch, as I said. So the um, stereo in is going to the input of the Katowicz, and then there's the high and the low going out, and the high is going to, to the Desmodus Versio by Noise Engineering, and the low is going to the data bender by Qubit, and then they're summed again in the uh, Quattro Figaro stereo mixer. Um, and let's hear this first. So maybe just the highs. They're not affected by the reverb yet. And just the lows. They're also not affected. But as you can see here, I've also plugged a cable into from the MOFs and it's uh, running um, a looping envelope which is um, adjusting the mid frequencies and so also um, uh, influencing the high and the low frequencies. So let's hear the effect on the data bender. I'm turning up the mix. And let's hear the effect on the reverb. Let's hear it dry again. So let's hear it all in all. First I'll add the reverb. Now the data printer. So as you can see it's quite useful for the different effect sounds. 